Hi everybody, my name is Gabby and today we're going to be talking about the Glasgow Goma scale, the GCS scale. Um, so first on the scale is going to be eye-opening. So um, the scale is going to go 4, 3, 2, 1. So for 4, um, eyes are going to be open spontaneously. Um, for a square of 3, it's going to be eyes open on command. 2, eyes open to painful stimulus and then a one, eyes do not open at all. So after eyes, then you're gonna check their verbal response, um, and then this one is gonna go on five, four, three, two, one scale. So for five, it's gonna be answers appropriately. For four, they give your patients giving confused answers. For three, it's gonna be inappropriate responses. For two, it's gonna be garbled, intel in intelligible noises. And then for one, no verbal response at all. Okay, and then the, lastly, it's going to be the motor response, and so this one's going to start out at 6, and then it's going to go down to 1. Um, so for 6, it's going to be follow simple commands. Number 5 is going to be localizes painful stimulus. Number 4 is going to be withdraw from painful stimulus. Decorticate response is 3. Um, so decorticate is the arms are going to go towards the core. The separate response is going to be two, so it's going to be away, and then one is going to be no motor response. All right, everybody, so the highest score um, your patient can get is 15, um, and the lowest score your patient can get is a three. So you and I are going to be 15, um, a chair is going to be a three, and stuff like that. So the lowest one is a one, one, and a one. So add those up, and it equals to three. Um, so for example, if your patient gets like a 13, you're gonna to have to specify in each category what the score was. For example, eyes, it's gonna be a three. So if they only open on command, um, the verbal is gonna be gives confused answers, so that's a four. And then you're gonna say motor, um, follow some com commands, that's a six. So it equals to 13. So you're gonna to have to specify if your patient did not get a 15, why your patient did not get a 15. All right, everybody, this is going to be your APU scale. So this is something that you're going to use when you're walking up to a patient to um, quickly assess their um, responsiveness. So A is going to be alert, B is verbal, P is pain, and U is unresponsive. So you're going to go down in this order. So if they're not tracking you, looking at you, they're not alert, you're going to go verbal, hey, sir, ma'am, are you awake? Pain, you're going to give them a trap squeeze, and they don't. if they don't respond, respond to pain, then they're going to be unresponsive. All right, so from the AFPU, if your patient wakes up, we now have to assess their orientation. So we're going to do A and O questions. So for medical, there's going to be three questions you're going to ask. It's going to be person, place, time. And say the year, don't say the month or what day it is, um, just to be more general. So person, hi, what's your name? Place, where are you right now? And then time, what year is it? For a trauma patient, it's going to be A&O times 4. So it's going to be the same first three, but they have to be oriented to the event. So person, hi, what's your name? Place, where are you? Time, what year is it? And then event, what happened? So for our last section of the Vital Signs Study Guide, we're going to combine level of consciousness and the GCS. So as we heard Gabby talk about, the AVPU is alert, verbal, painful, unresponsive. But if they're alert or if we're able to wake them up, we need to ask the orientation questions. So this is alert and oriented times three. So if you remember, she was talking about medical versus trauma. Medical, we ask three questions, person, place, time. Trauma, we ask four questions, person, place, time, and recall of the event. So this is a medical patient. They're ANO times three. They're with it. They're able to answer questions appropriately. They were alert. Now, the GCS gets a little more descriptive. So we've got eyes, verbal, motor response. So eyes are out of four, verbal's out of five, motor's out of six, as you heard us uh, explain in the video. And there's different scores that you can get. Really, any score below 14 is of concern. Normal is 15. So this is a little more detailed neurological assessment and sometimes you will have to communicate this to the hospital and when you communicate it it needs to be broken down they got a four for eyes five for verbal six for motor for a total of 15.
All right. So that wraps up our study guide here. Make sure you guys are taking plenty of vital signs at home on friends and family. Get this practice in now because when it comes time to interview, you might be taking a set of vital signs on the people that are interviewing you and you want to be well prepared. So if you guys have any questions at all, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. But that does it for this module. We'll see you guys for the medical assessment module coming up.